Greetings, and welcome back to the MCOC Encyclopedia. Today we have the final episode of the new Seven Stars Showcase with Punisher 2099. Six Star Rank 5 Ascended is roughly the same as Seven Star Rank 2, it's a little bit weaker, but that is what we'll be looking at today. My Punisher is awakened, and he does like to be awakened. It lets him start the fight with extra battery, which we'll see soon is quite important, but Sig 1 is absolutely fine. Anything after that is just a nice to have, and really not very important. And with that, let's jump in. So, for the sixth and final time, here we are against Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. Our Punisher 2099, as you can see, is just building up his battery, which is the grey icon that's about to turn orange, and that is his most important mechanic, because right now, look at Winter Soldier's power bar. He is gaining so little power every time we hit him, and that is Punisher's absolute strength. The battery has other uses, it gives him that big armor break, it gives him extra damage, and actually, you can see once he gets going, the damage is very, very good, 17k crit mediums, but it's taken 40 hits before Winter Soldier crossed a bar of power. That special one is the only special one you're going to see out of Winter Soldier in this entire fight. Just look how slowly that power bar goes up. And I'm not running the Collar Tech Mastery either. That special two had about 60k overkill. So for a control-based champion to do 46 seconds, that's impressive. Here we are in 8.1.1, and we're going up against this fairly chunky-looking mojo. Our battery's just filling up, and there we go, now it's up, and look at how little power Mojo's getting. He will cross a bar because I hit him before we started, but, you know, this is Act 8, so we can do this. Brrr, and pop. 111k non-crit from a control-based champion. Here we are at 8.1.6. It's going to be pretty similar, but we should note against this Doctor Strange that Ronan's sort of power control, if you can call it that, only affects him hitting the opponent. Doctor Strange has natural power gain, and that has nothing to do with Punisher at all. Full disclaimer, I am running one synergy for the entirety of this video, and that's the one with any of the Captain Americas. Watch the special two. Big crit. Nope, 62k. What that does is lets him start with a little bit of extra battery. So that, combined with the extra battery he gets from his SIG, means we can start at 90% battery. SIG 1 is absolutely fine for this guy. It's still an 8.1.6, I think, for this fight. And this is a fairly annoying Annihilus. We only gain 7 battery there rather than 9, I think, if you... if Yeah, because uh, Annihilus has got 1 buff, so that's reducing our battery gain slightly. So there we go. We get the special 1 out of Annihilus. Because of the node here, you can see a huge amount of his power got refunded from that special 1. But given how little power we're gaining, or giving him, ignoring the fact we're going to get tagged... Well, it doesn't stop Punisher from doing this. So we're going to get the parry, and then we're going to go for a very big special too. And that was a non-crit 63k medium at the end, but that doesn't stop our damage going nuts. That was an 85k medium attack. Not bad at all. Here we are in 8.3.4 up against this storm. And Punisher's going to do exactly the same thing. He is a control champion. His entire focus is around not giving the opponent any power, or not much at all when you hit them. But he still has a huge amount of damage output, and I don't even want to think about how annoying he's going to be as a defender when you stick the block penetration stat on him. Another nice 60k crit there. Like, look at this Stormfire, for example. We're getting 50k mediums, and she hasn't thrown a single special, and she never will. Punisher, however, with those really big specials, can go a little bit nuts if we give him a power back boost. So let's find out what happens if we do that. Full credit to Trappy, I think it was. I'll link the video below who sort of showed me the idea for this. But with those big special twos, that means you can get two armor breaks. And that can lead to some quite serious fireworks. So here we go, Rastatat. Nice 57k crit, and we're already back over a bar of power. Notice that Winter Soldier's only been given one and a half bars of power throughout this whole fight, though they still gain normal power from Strikers. We go straight back in for our special two, and that was 550,000 health down without them throwing a special attack in 35 seconds. Really not bad at all. Now, Punisher's control is really important when they have an annoying node or something, which is triggered on their special attacks. Here, this Diablo has Footloose, 
which means he's going to go unstoppable and have a 25% evade chance, and I think they go stun immune as well because of another node every time he throws a special attack. But if he never throws a special attack, we don't have to worry about that. Now, I've thrown this after the Winter Soldier with powerbacks because the powerback was still on for this. You can see our power's going to go up, but actually it doesn't make a huge amount of difference. We would have needed to gain about one and a bit bars of power, and you can see that we'll fill right back up to almost max power. So it would have been a little bit closer, but we would have been able to do it. No problem at all. And for this entire fight, Diablo never threw a special attack, so no footloose. And it's still a pretty quick fight at that. So there we have it. A quick introduction to Punisher 2099. Excellent damage and really potent power control just by not giving him any power, which can be boosted further with Collar Tech. After Venompool, he's probably my number two pick, and who I will be looking for from the Crucible Crystals. Coming soon, I will be releasing my thoughts and rewards opening from 100% the Crucible, and I will also be releasing some path guides once I've sort of got all the resources together that I need for that. There's a lot of fights, so a lot to go over, so I need to make sure we're fully organised before going in. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below, and consider joining the Discord server. A great place to get specific advice, make suggestions for future video topics, and while I'm awake, I do my best to be there as much as possible. Thank you, and I will see you next time.